the British colonized India and like like I said before and they had it for over 400 years so a lot of people speak English but they definitely you know the Indians definitely have a distinctive accent and as missionaries you know for a long time we all tried to talk like that and we kind of eventually shut that down and I think that that was a lot of missionaries before us had had kind of tried to mimic their accent and we taught like that and that's how I was trained to teach but probably two-thirds three-fourths the way through my mission we kind of shut that down in my mission we started just trying to enunciate our words better and speak a little bit slower to people um, because it, it could you know it could be seen as offensive almost some maybe to, to be trying to mimic someone's language but it did also at the same time it did help people understand us and so there was kind of a trade-off um, lots of lots of unique Indian phrases I actually read an article the other day online about this and a lot of it's because it's a direct translation of a Hindu a Hindi phrase maybe or a Tamil phrase or a Telugu phrase and so those don't always translate perfectly um, but like one thing is like if you hit your elbow you'd say I'm and I'll just I'll try to do the accents but um, be like um my elbow is painting like anything just it's painting as it's hurting and instead of saying hurting they typically say painting um, if we were getting in an argument with a auto rickshaw driver to try to get our price where what was a fair price um, the guy would be maybe trying to rip us off and we say brother how we can survive how we can survive you're charging so much money how we're how we're to pay no one can pay also and Indians say also a lot in English after a lot of phrases I don't know that's got it's got to be a translation thing um, what other but so like I'll just do it when we go to some people's houses when we were still speaking like that we'd say something like brother we're coming from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints we're sharing a one message about this boy his name is the Joseph Smith you're wanting to hear this message anytime and uh, I mean that's how we <laughs> that's how we talk a lot and people were responsive to it but um, you know and, and in, that's how they speak they're they always say, Indians always say that they believe in the God. It's always the God instead of they believe in God. And even members of the church are bearing their testimonies. I, I know that the God is there. I know that the Heavenly Father is there. So that's like kind of a unique thing. Um, but people are, there's a lot of really educated people in India. You could speak to them I mean if you spoke really fast like Americans I think tend to do then you'd lose people sometimes but if you just spoke to people in kind of a good normal tone you could usually communicate fairly well and we ended up using a lot of hand gestures because you're speaking with people on the streets or bus conductors people who aren't necessarily as educated and maybe don't know English those people we just we still had to be able to communicate with and we weren't allowed to learn local languages and so there's usually like some English phrases as well in Bollywood movies I know and so there's some like common phrases that people just understand because they've been adopted into Hindi language I guess and, and you know we do that in America with some things <laughs> 